All right, so now we're doing the miniature toilets uh, for the kids. And it's the location is a bit lower than the usual ones. They are a lot tinier. Uh, these are the, for the cute little kids. So we do our approach from top to bottom. Uh, we're going to do the toilet bowl. And then we're going to use uh, uh, natural products for the toilet bowl inside then on the external part and you can see we only use paper anything with contact of uh, human waste um, then once after that we clean from top to bottom and then we will move on to the sink that's where we're going to use eucalyptus oil only so we clean all of the sink using eucalyptus oil and now we're using a red rag because we are not in contact with any human waste uh, this is just all the water splash marks keep everything hygiene and we only you can leave this oil for uh, cleaning products so now all these surfaces once we go through this we will use another natural product for the glass so now all these surfaces will be done and the natural products we use for glass now we're going to use a blue rack for it because blue we use blue for glass and all those shiny surfaces to maintain presentation, keep the racks clean at all time, and then the red one to continue on the other surfaces. So once all this is kept done, and you can see pretty much all of the surface, it's been wiped, and then we will top up the consumables for the toilet rolls. If you have hand soap, needs to be replenished, we will top up as well. If you have uh, hand soap bottles that needs to be refilled, those will be done for you, uh, save your time the next day. And then before we finish up, we will focus on those touch areas like your door handles right now. Get all these door handles wiped clean. Uh, and then we use the blue racks for the glass to maintain presentation. So once all this is done, then you can see we focus a lot on the lower area because the lower area is where the kids going to touch, you know, with greasy hands, uh, foot the oily fingerprints, all this will be taken care of. So once all these things is done, um, like all this, uh, especially sometimes at the bottom, you have water, water splash marks on those areas. So we pay attention on the lower area. Then now we are all good to go. And your kids' toilets now are clean and they are ready for the next day.